Hello and welcome to GeoLearn. This is tutorial number three of our series on easements and rights of way. And, and on this tutorial, we're going to look at written easements and creating written easements. The first thing I want to talk about, and this is just a critical thing, as we go forward in the whole rest of this series of tutorials, we're going to come back time and time again to this concept. And that is the bundle of rights. And we talk about this in real estate. When you buy real estate, you buy the bundle of rights. If you buy fee simple absolute ownership in a property, you have all of the rights. And we talk about the sticks or the bundle of rights or the bundle of sticks. Each right, each right represents an individual stick. And if you have fee simple absolute, you have all of them. We talked a little bit about this earlier, but you have the rights associated with, with owning the property, subdividing it, selling it. It can be uh, uh, partition, it can be put in a will, it can be uh, split in two, it, you can grant leases, you can rent it, you can build uh, tall on it, you can extract the minerals out of it. All of those things, those bundle of sticks, and each one represents a different right. And we talked about this a little bit earlier and when we talked about the rights associated with property and we have certain rights, we have certain obligations when we own real estate too. One of them being to pay the taxes, others being to, to exert our ownership when we own the property. But each easement right, and we're talking about easements here, represents a different stick. So I can tell someone I'm going to grant you an easement for access, that's a stick. I'm giving it to them, it's an interest in my real estate that I am now giving to them and they actually own that now. Now I own every stick except that one. And I can give any number of those. So I want to introduce that concept uh, because it's a really handy one when we talk about easements. And then particularly later on, we're going to talk about things like exclusive easements. And it's really going to drive home at that point. So let's just remember this idea of the stick, each stick representing, for example, an easement right. So this is a, a site out of a case we'll look at here more in a second, but at least one authority states that an easement can be created in as many as six different ways. Listing easements by express grant, and we're going to look at all of these, by reservation or exception in a conveyance of land, and by implied grant or reservation versus express, by prescription, by a statutory proceeding which would be a condemnation, exercising eminent domain, or by estoppel. Right? This is a case actually out of Alaska outlining six different ways that easements can be created. We look at some other states. This is out of Ohio. They said easements may be created by express grant, by an implied grant, by prescription, or by estoppel. Now, you might say, well, that's different from Alaska. Alaska talked about condemnations. Well, ultimately, a condemnation right, results in a written conveyance, so I suppose you could say a condemnation might be kind of a flavor of an express grant. But it pretty much captures them. This is out of South Carolina. An easement may arise in three ways. By a grant, from necessity, or by prescription. Now, this one is a little bit more narrow, probably because that's what was the subject in the particular court case. But necessity is a form of implied grant. And in our subsequent tutorial, we're going to talk extensively about unwritten easements. But it is just one type of unwritten easement. There are a whole bunch of types of unwritten easements that would fall here.